trail going through the jungle! Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you can pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Will I continue ripping it apart? No, no, no! I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. There they are! Wing controls! All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. What the floor? That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Majestic. In an everything's trying to kill you sort of way, sure. That is precisely why it is majestic. If you see anything with claws the size of tracks, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Oh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, Mystery Goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... What are you firing at? No, you're trying to stay ready. I took care of it. What, Scott? I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Cave with eggs. Where are you? Still checking things out. This place is bigger than I thought. <laughs> nice hidden passage. I ain't far, Quill. Scream really loud if you find another blob creature. You know I will. Hey, um, listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy. Explore it. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. Where's Groot? I told him to wait up there. He may need to get between the other two. Great bear going at it. You done exploring, Quill? Because, uh, I really need to talk to you. What's going on? Look, I'm not sure about this whole selling Groot thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Groot's the only real family I got. Well, he's the only one who's accepted me for me. Groot offered to do this. And if Gamora offers to tell a joke, you're just gonna assume it's funny? 
Not sure I get where... Th I'm saying Groot ain't built for scheming. He ain't no monster. We don't know that. It's obvious. Maybe to you, but three out of five of us think he's monster enough. So give him a chance. He knows what he's doing. Fine. Have it your way. Come on. The sooner we get to Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. We're fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then Must be out on the hunt. This place is a flark and maze. All those trees look like... Like giant strings of saltwater taffy! What? What's taffy? You sure you want to get lost out here? Relax, I'm just looking around. <laughs> There's further proof that we're not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it first. Hey, what about her sister, Nebula? Guys, monster planet, dark, dangerous, can we focus here? Are you frightened of monsters, Peter Quill? Only the scary ones. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. The depressions are deep. This thing has got to weigh more than all of us put together. Even with ropes? Oh, maybe. Uh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs! Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know- Uh... Dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no. It is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. What do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rocket. Very well. You sons of forking sharks! How will we cross? Face Look the around, we'll find another way. What's Shatari Tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Not a chance. We both know it's too far from this. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just leave it. What's your problem? My problem is Meathead trying to huck me over a cliff. There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree? <laughs> Taller than Groot. Wow, it is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet, right. Statues are of the monsters on this planet. I mean, maybe this is why Elven is a monster. You do know that aimless shooting isn't gonna scare the monsters away, right? Hey! My shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can topple this? I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. Great. That's just great. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. 
<laughs> Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? Eyes oh. up, people! Incoming! <laughs> ah! somewhere why are we so sure this is the way all right Gamora pretty sure it's this way I... no way are we almost there still got like half a planet to walk across Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides sure she could or she would have flown over the mountains oh she flies now Drax some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable you can say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills, Peter Quill. He's got you there. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Oh, an old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Being brood of the merchandise. Only one of you, just go. No, you just Someone go. Someone go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. Says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, oh, oh. Yup, definitely saw the giant cat. Peter! 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 Oh. <sighs> nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. 
Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. That is. Running away. But that its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. And it is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Mora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. No, the core weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow, it is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. Fortress. Mind lifting hey, that up? Well, mind giving the old girl a scan? I agree. Maybe part of the ship's still functional. Probably here. I am on my way. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. One tick. Done. Ah, right. Yeah. This wreck is so rusted out, you can hardly see the blue. Long time since the war. 
that this place is all kind of wet. Feels like yesterday, in all the worst ways. Can you get up there now? This brings back memories! Mm. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. All right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is, Lady Hellbender's fortress. It's got bigger, that's for sure. Ha! <laughs> it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Well, you gotta see this ship. What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over, I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. So interesting. Let's all stick our fingers in it. I can hear you downwind. I can hear you downwind. They I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls scud like this. Just come on, dude. Just leave the guns me, alone. Me, I, well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys. DNA coding the lunar scud like some kind of morphing nanite or sorcery. Here we go again. up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star! Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. Barely any power. Maybe we can muscle those cannons out. 
It would give us some steps to climb. Worth a shot. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? You try holding it for a while longer. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. We've got to find a way to lock it in place. Uh, I cannot... Oh, I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we got to get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what, Larkin? I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go. He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> Yeah, and dry now, too. Samora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Careful. It might be playing dead. Why does it not attack? Perhaps it is dead. Poke it and find out. Very well. Hang on. What if it's sleeping? We don't want to wake it up. Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I doubt it, Drax. Drax, could you move a bit to the right? Why? Your big butt's a nice windshield. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? I'm Groot. You're a cool dude, Groot. I'm Groot. Hey, uh, since we got a sec, I know you volunteered for this, but I want you to understand that I don't really think you're a monster. I'm Groot. I mean, you're super tall and intimidating, and I think that's why this is going to work, but I think you look Freaking awesome! I am Groot. <laughs> I guess the rest of us must look pretty weird to you, huh? I am Groot. <laughs> that better not have been a comment about my hair. Where did you guys go? The. Uh... Employee evaluation? Did you pass? That's confidential. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means you went the wrong way, but it's too stubborn to admit it. In that case, you're the greatest explorer I ever met. See my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh 
Need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. I sure hope that buttless beast ain't running back to mommy to tell on us. You could have aimed for its head, Gamora. At least I took an appendage. What did you do? <laughs> Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> you are... How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Just be a lesson to it. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh. Anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? Huh? That pissed... Disturbingly fragrant. After you. Oh, I'll take that time period through up. Uh, uh. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got Monster gotta food? Your taste the cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our... Their monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed.
You are coming with me. We better hurry. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy. Stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. <laughs> It's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. For you, maybe. I love easy. So who's next in line for the throne if Lady Halbender has an accident? Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. I can't believe you just said that with a straight face. So, when are the rest of us gonna get jet boots? It takes years of special training to operate. <laughs> Deep freeze. Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't get green? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, well, better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady Eight? We're gonna fight a monster queen? You would be a formidable adversary indeed. It's gonna go fine, <laughs> right, Groot? Whoa, that is definitely yeah, my job. Being Groot is exactly the problem. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far, what if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. Let's just get this done. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flark in infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Recycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the flark in thing is looking like we're in business. Group, you ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous.
Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as a leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, here we go. Response good to soothing tones. <sighs> Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. clicks. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Need to build up my calluses. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Mama, she said, Son, you'll always be on the road. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Oh, 
Somebody's got a girlfriend. Is it Janie? Oh, yes. It's not Janie. She is so smart. Love Janie. Okay, I'm just teasing. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Okay, it's not that. It's, it's opening night, and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you, I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Promise me you'll be safe tonight, Peter. We're just going to the movies. What could happen? Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? <laughs> 